What's up, everybody, and welcome back to yet again another video of Tasted Nas, baby. And what you see right here is that ST Remy. What is that, Sergeant? No, that's SGT. Straight Remy. We're just going to put it at that. You feel me? Extra old. It tells you right there on the box. Let me give you a good, good view of that. Extra old XO. French Brandy. Um, oh, look at that right there, too. It's got a little stamp. From the judges, um, International Wine and Spirit Competition, the judges scored it a 90 to a 92.9. So this must be excellent. The box, I can tell you right off, right off the bat, is real. Look at the look at the glimmer, the, the shimmer in it. It's real prestigious, you know. And I guess it's how the bottle looks. Like I just can't wait to open this box to see if this is the true glory inside of this box. As we continue to rotate it. You know, you got your, your bold ST Remy, straight Remy. We're just going to call it that on the side there. Um, Really nice packaging. 700 milliliters is going to be in here. Um, It says it's best served um, neat on ice or in a classic cocktail. So we got our, um, our sake glass here. I uh, don't really have any ice, but uh, let's go. Let's go pick up an ice cube. All right, so we got our ice cube and our little sake glass. Not the major, but um, we're just gonna crack this box open and see exactly what we're working with. So, uh, wow, nice and elegant. Just a bottle, no literature inside. Wow, look at that. Look at that, isn't that mag nifty suns? You know, I was kind of, you know, I was kind of expecting a little glow around the bottle too, but we don't got that here. All black bottle, um, 1886 apparently is when they've been making their own brand of brandy. Um, imported straight from USA. But I guess it's from French or France. Anyways, we have our ice in our glass. Real nice bottle. Things of that nature. Real dope collector's item, in my opinion. Um, I always like to keep fresh bottles. So after this taste, even though it'll be a, a smidget gone, I got to pick another one up to stock on the shelves, you know, for, for probably eternity. Um, I don't know. I'm just I'm just into collecting items like that. Wine bottles, um, alcohol bottles, you know, something that looks real classy. You know, I'll probably keep it in the box. Probably won't ever open it again. Um, but without further ado, let's get that classic sound of that crackle. Oh yeah, that was it. That was satisfying. And then we go smell it. Okay. Definitely smells like brandy. You know. Um, so we're just going to see how it pour up. See how it pour real nice. Okay, nice little elegant color, you know, real nice elegant color there. It's, uh, it's doing some damage to that ice there. I see a lot of little, little fizzling and stuff going on. Um, so it might be potent now. But um, this is that brandy in the box here, that fire. Make it look a little more presentable. But uh, without any further ado, let's give it another smell test. All right. And we're not going to shot it. We're just going to sip and see how it tastes. So let's see how it tastes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Extra old, huh? You see, that hits... But it doesn't hit. Like, that's like a grown man drink. That's like a... Yeah, yeah. That's that's grown man right there. You know that? That, that ain't gonna really, like, fire your chest and put no hair on it, really. But this this gonna, this gonna do a little something for you. You know what I'm saying? It, it definitely, it definitely sting the back of the throat just a little bit. Nothing crazy, like, unbearable. It's definitely a drinkable drink. And the flavor, the flavor is kind of, um, I don't know, it tastes like a barrel, you know, maybe like a, 
I don't know. I don't know how to explain the taste on that one. But it's not bad. It's really, it's really not bad. Something, something maybe by a fire, you know what I'm saying? You got a glass of this brandy, this Remy here, um, right by the fire, leg up, you know, chilling or uh, confidential talk, you know, grown man talk at a table, you know what I'm saying? Non-business oriented because you got to keep it professional, but this is one of those drinks, you know, this is one of those, uh, my best man or, or my guy is coming over. You know what I'm saying? We got to discuss some important matters. We got to discuss a camping trip. We got to discuss when we're going to take the family out as a as a collective uh, group of friends. You know what I'm saying? This is that this is that important confidential grown man talk drink. Not really too potent. What was the what was the alcohol level on this here? If it told us it's not it's not really potent at all. It definitely hits 40%. So it definitely hits, um, no doubt about that. But it's a smooth, it's like a smooth old man, extra old drink. I'm gonna have to get this right here on the old man status. We're gonna, we're gonna put this in the old man category drinks, you know, the professional level, sophisticated drinks. I'm gonna get out a five out of five. The packaging is extravagant. The bottle is extraordinaire. Pitch black on that. Can't even see through it. Extraordinary. And then the taste. Not bad. It's pretty smooth, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. The taste. I just can't. I can't think of anything that tastes like that. But it's definitely got its own unique taste. Um, a little different from the wines and things that I've been tasting. But this right here, I'm going to classify as a grown man, professional, sophisticated drink. We're going to put this in the old man category. Five out of five stars in that old man category right there. I like that. I like that a lot. Definitely got to pick up another bottle. Um, stock on the shelves. Keep them to them by like 65, 70, and then crack it open again. And it's going to be extra, extra old. XO. So without any further ado, baby, that was this ST Remy or straight Remy as we're going to call it. Um, real nice and prestigious. I definitely recommend that and give it a five out of five stars. Um, it's a different kind of level of drink like wines and all that. Those are like, those are like, you know what I'm saying? Casual sippers. This is more sophisticated level. You know, this, this is where you get the rolly on the wrist and, uh, and all of that. Pick yourself up one of these if you want to be sophisticated, high level. You know what I'm saying? I definitely recommend it. But without any further ado, it's your bottle. It's ST Remy. Your boy tasted Nas. And we're just going to see y'all in the next video, all right? So stay tuned and peace.